tense twist. So maybe you're familiar with tense twist, still got a representation. Here is it, and we move over. We want to define tense twist for mm, filter fine module work. So let me first introduce, then we do exercise. We will prove that a filter fine module is admissible if and only if its tense twist is admissible. We introduce a twisting operation. A filter fine modules. And The control variant functor given by the whole corresponds to Operation which maps Chris, uh, which maps representation to new representation by test twist by twisting QPI over QP. So I got a lot of side for integer i. Suppose we have a ring containing B the run. QP algebra over GK action. BJK sub algebra containing. Can only equal ZP one. A witch. The two most important examples. Present B S T and for any basis T of the P one elements of this. Repeating your map from we twist i to b can be written as prime equals t minus i times d for some d. Home from way to be so d prime in big d prime is jk environment if and only if small d big d is jk equivalent. Let me recall here also the Galo action on T is cyclotomic, then T by the construction of our T.
clearly the prime is in the home should be linear from the way to t to the power r either run plus if and only if small d is in the home qp linear from way to t to the power r plus i be the run plus since this t is in decrease where the frobin is acting on t as pt and hence on t to the power minus i as p to the power minus i and then t to the power minus i and the monodromy is trivial so we give the following definition So this is the motivation to give the following definition. We could start here just to give you the definition of a twist on the filter to find motives. That's what we need in the last exercise. That's the only thing we need actually. So MF K by N filter find module for I integer. Let us define. D bracket I such that as Q vector space this is D Wow let's describe the filtration the filtration it is defined to be so the base change is okay the filtration it base change the case defined to be the filtration r plus i of d for any integer r and where we have to define the monodromy and from it is on it i'm going to define to be Monodromy is defined to be the same as before. Well, the problem is let's call it the problem is prime to be p minus i, and the problem is before, and we call this d bracket i. The i's full tet test. of d clearly remark clearly this d twist i is again a filter final audio over k So this first paragraph may be computed, uh, may be complicated. Actually, this is saying that we will introduce uh, control iron factor, which uh, which corresponds to the Galois side the tab twist. We want to define on the filter for MOD side the tet twist which corresponds to the Galois side the tet twist we are more familiar with. On that Galois side we know what is Galois action, we know what is the Frobini section. Right. So monodromy. And we construct correspondingly the 
monodromy and Frobenius and the filtrations. Uh, of course, there needs some work, but this is just giving a motivation. The twisting operation on filter fine module enter the control wire and filter corresponds to corresponds to this on the Galois side. see this category equivalence later okay so now let's come to the main part of the exercise today so this is a proposition prove that D is admissible so the definition of admissible we've introduced in uh, 12 three videos ago if and only if it's that twist is admissible, which means admissibility is preserved under that twist proof. We have decomposition. So those alphas are the slopes. Now we have the tet twist. We don't know yet how it is influencing on the slope before we do computation. And this decomposition tells that the alpha respectively the beta is non-zero for only finitely many. alphas respectively beta we know that if there is some small d in this the alpha part then phi d equals some lambda d and with lambda in with lambda in at least in k bar we don't really care then we know that the PID evaluation of this lambda would be alpha. So if you forgot why this is the case, then again, think back to this example. Phi to the power R minus P to the power S, right? So if you have any element here, then then phi to the power R of V would equals P to the power S of V. And then you could imagine, uh, am I very weak or, I mean, something, this is what's happened and the PID evaluation of this is exactly this alpha. This is so weak. I put question mark, sub exercise, it is good explanation or not. Okay. And then we 
we have for being sub d equals lambda of d is equivalent p minus i for being sub d equals p minus i lambda of d in other words by our new definition of phi prime which is recall which is p inverse of p inverse i of phi we have phi prime apply on d then equals then equals P inverse I lambda on D and which is also lambda prime of D if we just put lambda to be P inverse I and lambda. Therefore, we could think of this uh, Valuation of lambda prime equals p. Uh, we took it minus i plus the valuation of lambda, right? And so pens pens we have this Newton number of tad twist now can could be computed using those. Uh, new using those new pi evaluations called the beta i and then the similar formula times it is j from one to s dimension p zero for those d beta i assuming there are only s non-zero parts I won't mention what are the s okay and then there's just some integer s so this is just just notice the difference between wp lambda prime and wp lambda and the difference is only let's think about the difference is only for the wait for the for the dimension of the t vector space is the same. The only difference is here. So each part p evaluation there is minus i. So altogether times the dimension is h. And then the left part is the same as before. So this is and of D minus I H T N of D T N of D just a small question why this dimension of beta j should be the same as the dimension alpha j so 
so the difference comes from a different province. Right. Would that different province change the dimension of Change the dimension of each isoclinic piece. It's just a different way to write this fine right here. I don't think no, it should not change this dimension of this. So it should be the same. On the other hand side, let's look at the harsh number. For harsh number, we notice harsh number of tattoo stub D by definition by our formula is so integer times. So this is the jumping index. It's jumping at index R. What is the jumping index for filtration? This would be the filtration twist over filtration R plus one D twist. But the filtration of the twist is the relation with the filtration D is as follows. Right, this is it, and so this is actually the graded piece of R plus I of D, and the dimension of graded piece DI over K equals to dimension over K of graded piece R plus I of D. And so we have finally the harsh number of the twist. It's the relation with the relation with the harsh number of D that would be so you are changing the jumping index from I to R plus I. And corresponding to the graded piece R plus I of D. Wow. Before it was I. Let's finally say what happened. And uh, uh, wait, wait. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Wait, wait. So let me see. By the formula, the same formula tells you this should be for any uh, r in z, r times dimension of graded piece r of di. Right? But this is then r, the dimension of graded piece of i plus r of d. But then we want to really make it the same, uh, sorry. the same formula similar as before. And then I'm going to end i, but then minus i back. Right? And so this gives you a similar formula just change variable from R to R plus R so this gives you back again THOD what is left here is I move I outside dimension of all the gray graded piece so it gives you dimension and so the coincide 
is telling you that D is admissible implies that um, the I is admissible also. I don't know if and if.